Mm. She's annoyed. Hey guys, welcome, 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 welcome back to the channel. So, um, if you saw the previous clip, which I'm sure you have, uh, we had a guest, but now we don't because I, by some miracle, I managed to put her to sleep and uh, I'm not sure how long that's going to last. So we're going to have to run through this video, okay? Because every time I try to film, something happens. My mom is working, so I can't give her the baby. My brother is definitely not going to help me out because that's what brothers do. And uh, I don't want to film this later on or tomorrow because I've been postponing. So let's just try to run through this video peacefully. And if we have to, we're going to just have her in the video. Okay, what's the worst that could happen? So today, as you can see from the title, we're doing the Notorious My First Time Tag. I've been seeing this all over um, YouTube and I think it has fallen under quarantine or lockdown uh, content because that's what everyone is doing right now, especially knowing that we can't really step um, outside of our comfort zone in terms of creating content. So we just gotta make do. And you guys have been harassing me on instagram talking about how i am absent on youtube and i'm i have left you guys for tiktok which is not true okay i just enjoy tiktok because it's funny I only i don't really even have much of a following there i just make funny videos because i can but if you do want to follow me you can follow me okay so follow right into this video i wish i was i wish this was a mukbang but it's very early in the morning and i usually have my first meal around 11 so and i want to make some tea but what if when i come back the baby's up and then it's just a mess okay so we're just gonna quickly get through with what we can. okay first question my first uh tattoo i don't know i don't know why i even went as far as uh counting this question because i don't have a tattoo you guys and i guess I, I i feel like i'm in a very confusing position because a part of me would like to get a tattoo and yeah, even if it's something small and insignificant but just to have it but at the same time it's like if i don't really have uh, a, um uh sartini if i don't have like a worthy reason to get a tattoo then why get it in the first place you know like is it like a clout thing or fomo like what why do i really want to get a tattoo so that's why i, I just don't know where i stand but i'm not saying i would never get one but i'm also not saying that i'll just get one because apparently they say your first tattoo is never really it like it will always be a bad tattoo so I, I don't want to have that experience, okay? Especially if, if it's something that's going to be permanent on my body. Okay, second question. Your first time traveling overseas. My first time traveling overseas uh, was um, a few years ago. It was uh, Dubai. Very beautiful place. Um, yeah, very beautiful place. And I think traveling, like, I feel like I'm not well-traveled enough, you know, um, and I would really like to work on that and do more of that. But uh, at the same time, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's not something that I'm like, ah, I need it to happen now, but it's definitely something that I want to do more of. But only time will tell. But I definitely advocate for traveling and stuff like that. I enjoy it. And it really opens your mind about the world and stuff like that. Like you stop seeing the world from such a small perspective. Everything is just on a grander scale. Okay, so yeah, Dubai was the first place I went to outside of SA. Uh, first heartbreak. Mm, 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 mm. What heartbreak? We don't do that over here. I <laughs> have a guest on the channel. Okay, first heartbreak. Um, I was saying that it's uh, the story time that I did a couple of, I think last year, 
if you check out my videos it's gonna be there down below it was in high school i dated a child <laughs> okay not like a child because we, we were the same age but he was very childish he was very um but then again it was high school so obviously he was gonna play around with my heart and stuff like that but that was the first time i actually got hurt and then when he did it again i at this point i was like you know what i'm gathering the bit of dignity that i have and i'm just going to move on with my life because i'm not gonna let this brother play me but yeah that's uh, my first heartbreak when he just started he was the thing with high school is that when someone dribbles you in high school everyone can see it like everyone it's like a movie because first of all people a lot of people start knowing about your relationship so granted when things start getting shaky people are going to notice people are going to talk about it and getting over even worse when the guy is doing it with people either in the same grade or in the, even in the same classroom like wild wild so i i i daco like okay at that point i didn't even understand what heartbreak was apart from what i had seen in movies like you cry and stuff like that but the thing with me is that i get angry like if someone disappoints me or hurts me i my my coping mechanism is anger so if you do that to me you're an enemy of mine like i don't look at you the same like i hate you like if, if more than crying I get angry and I'm like, oh, you are a disgusting human being. So that's how I cope. But that was my heartbreak, you guys, high school, which is irrelevant because I mean, high school, what is a high school relationship? Right. Okay, first, alcoholic beverage. It was um, I consider myself a late bloomer. I'm not sure. I'm sure other people, wanna they bloomed even later in the game. But my first alcohol beverage, alcohol be alcoholic beverage, was in 2014. Um, I had finished um, matric, and my family and I went to Durban for ho the holidays in December. So. Um, Throughout that whole uh, vacation, I wasn't drinking and all my friends were drinking and stuff like that. And I did have FOMO because, I mean, I watched basically everyone in high school going to parties and drinking and stuff like that. And I never was part of that. Like, legit, guys, and I was an SEO girl. Like, I was a church goer. I really did nothing in high school. No, no, no partying, no nothing. I missed out on a lot actually so um being there with my friends and my parents were my parents are not strict at all so me uh not doing things was basically out of preference because my my brother went out a lot and did whatever he wanted to but it was just i i was just not into that stuff yet so um in that trip we i remember i think the last day of the trip after watching everyone have fun and drink and stuff like that uh my friend and i went for our last dinner and i ordered a cosmopolitan and that was my first alcoholic beverage guys it didn't even taste nice it looked pretty but it didn't taste nice it was very bitter and i remember my friend started making it fun of me after that because mm. everything i said they would analyze it like they would think that it's just me you know being drunk or whatever or, or acting out but yeah that was my first staring at me okay first youtube video my first youtube video was um i think it's still there like you can find it if you look down there <laughs> um it, it was a. Uh, it was a. Uh, um what i think uh deodorant or body spray review um this was my first time working with you know um i don't know age i think they're agencies you know things like beauty bulletin and ruby box and stuff like that um i was working with beauty bulletin and they had sent me body sprays and i think a perfume as well so i was reviewing them and i was like you know what i also would like to um have this on my youtube channel at that point i didn't even understand what having a youtube channel really meant yes i did watch youtube but 
and this was in 2017 yeah i think my first video was in 2017 and uh, yes i was watching youtube videos but I, I wasn't really into the beauty side of youtube like you know and all of that stuff so i was just winging it from what i had seen from time to time but i think i only started really watching youtubers and especially the beauty industry part of it in 2018 that's when i was like obsessed with jackie Aina. i was watching everyone guys trisha paytas if you guys know trisha paytas it's a very weird youtube channel you guys like the channel is wild um she eats you know and she shows her dysfunctional relationships and stuff like that but yeah i used to watch her channel a lot i used to watch it's my ray ray i used to watch um who else i don't know like a couple of people then gradually i started finding youtubers that i really really liked you know like like the young ones now you know um uh, Nella Rose and all those people. I think I started like getting into that in 2018. That's when I was like, yo, I you know, I love YouTube. And that's when I started taking it seriously. But yeah, that was my first video. Next question. First makeup product. Uh, my first makeup product was the first yes, you don't. I uh started falling in love with makeup in 2016. That was because I was going out and obviously when you're going out you gotta look cute honey you gotta look cute so i wasn't even wearing um eyeliner in high school like i never used to be those people who wore eyeliner and lipstick um at most i may have owned lip gloss you know those strawberry lip gloss i loved those i owned those i never had mascara like I, I was just not part of that eyeliner mascara lipstick combination and then uh, my first product i remember someone had bought this for me it was a mac foundation and a mac lipstick and this was because all mac was a was a hot you know story like i think 2016 like mac was high end you know like if you owned if you use mac products it was like girl honey like you your life is together babe so i was like yo um please buy me this um uh foundation and, and i think it was about 500 rand guys it's going to 500 rand in university in 2016 like that was a lot of money and then the lipstick i think it was like 250 or or 300 rand so like that was a lot of money Ugh. especially for your first thing and the crazy thing is that after that experience i never really cared for mac like i don't know i just i i then started buying um drugstore products and i was like i feel like they're much better than mac not to say mac doesn't have bomb as products i think when it comes to eyebrows and concealers they're really bomb from what i've seen but foundation ah uh, mm, lipstick mm -mm. question first time sleeping over at a guy's place <laughs> i hope my mom is not watching this yeah I'm, 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 let me stay away from um let me stay away from mentioning the years because i don't know who's watching but uh, um i remember i was living with two uh, girls one of them is basically like a cousin like a family friend my mom and my her mom and my mom have been friends like forever so i was living with the with her and her best friend in first year and we used to go out we used to go out to Gondis. if you're in pe you know gondwana and wow guys i think gondwana was the peak of like nice time in pe i think after they closed down Gondis, not everything went, went to shambles like Cuban is nice but it's boring like with 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 Gondis, you would let your car down like you would weld out yo guys i'm not even i'm not even joking right now like when it's a hot night at gandhi's literally at some point everyone will start making out i don't know if this was me being like young and like 
you know fascinated or amazed but nyan literally people will start dancing and then at some point you're like whoa you're making out with this person this person is making out with that person like it was that type of vibe but it was so much fun it was so lit. like so many good memories come from gondis especially if you're a p person who was in pe around 20 15 16 then you know what i'm talking about okay because it was a lady 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 okay anyway um i went out with uh the two girls i was living with and uh we went to gandhi's this one night and it was nice and everything i can't really remember because it was a long time ago but i do remember this um as the night progresses or whatever i think i was buzzed as well or something and then uh randomly the sky spanks me <laughs> which is sexual harassment and i should have gotten his ass arrested but yeah he spanked me and i was just like what the hell what the hell are you doing like yeah one night i was acting out but what the hell what did you just do blah 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 blah, blah. like all up in his face which is not something i usually would have done not that i would have not called him out but not in that sense where i'm like all up in his face like ready to you know pull up so yeah i was like going at it and this guy was with a bunch of his friends and he was like a buff fish guy which is not really like my type type but yeah he was like a buff guy and stuff like that he was with his friends and i was i felt very caught off guard because now this guy is doing this and he's with his friends so like ban ban like they're making a joke out of me you don't lay your way um so i was just like i'm pissed you know because now he's entertaining his friends by harassing me and that was just like pissing me off so um i'm calling it out him out and stuff like that and he was so relaxed like he was taking it so lightly and i was just like so annoyed and then there was this other friend of his if i can remember correctly who was like talking and talking and talking and talking and then this guy was just like can i have your number and i was like so the girl will not win when 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 the one who is harassing me you want my number now there's no way i don't know how he managed to convince me but i did give him my number it's not the smartest decision i've made <laughs> but yeah um i took his number and i remember on sunday he had said uh we should go um have breakfast or whatever and i was just like so i the following sunday uh i uh we used to always have like sunday sunday vibes uh at the house we would cook and sometimes we'd go to church if my cousin's mom was around so sundays were very traditional so we were i remember we were at spa shopping buying stuff for sunday lunch and stuff like that and then this guy actually calls me he's like hey i'm that guy from last night da, 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 da. and i'm like and he was like um are you free we should go have lunch or something i was like no nah, i'm with i'm with people with family and stuff like that so i can't really go out and uh he was like okay cool um can we postpone it for another day i was like okay cool and we did eventually go out wow this story is dragging we did eventually go out that was my first date in pe actually uh we went to finesse that was my first time in finesse as well um my first time at finesse uh we went we had drinks you know it was a nice vibe but the thing is that i even told the girls this that this guy's not my type like first of all he's a buff guy and he is an oak you know if you don't know what that is i think east london people would understand better but yeah one of lando the coconut is guys who are coconuts they want those guys look with rugby rugby boys you know they're like yeah hey you know he was that type of guy and i remember he had a, a white roommate which was a very cool guy shame and um yeah uh we then started dating and he was shame i i i sort of gotten used to his accent and his lifestyle and stuff like that 
and we got along like you a shame it was it was a short-lived relationship because i think i chickened out because i i was new at school and i was new in pe new in almost everything and just having a guy in my life was just not something i had signed up for but yeah i did sleep over sleep over at his place we were watching movies and then the night got uh like time flew and it was late and it was just like okay um are you gonna drop me off it was around like 2 a.m in the morning after watching movies the whole night and then he was like i can give you some pajamas and I took his pajamas and I slept over. It was very awkward, Shem. And in the morning, you always feel the need to leave as soon as possible. That's exactly what. Next question. First best friend. This was in. Uh, let me try it in. Let me try it. Oh, no, no, no. I was going to say this was in primary, but. Okay, this wasn't primary, but this was still in East London because I used to live in East London and I moved in grade four. So in East London, I had this girl, I think her name was Asand. I had this girl who I considered a best friend. Um, I went to St. John's Primary School in East London. Yeah, her name was Asand. I think we were in Tanzania. She used to live in Tanzania. I just, I remember being so fascinated or admirable of her and we were so young but i just was like i like her like i like her vibe i think naya because we were kids maybe naya she was mimicking you know someone back at home but she used to have such a grace guys like ingati even when she walked she would be gliding like she used to always have her her, her hand like this like when is vibes is it <laughs> And I used to love her so. Okay, guys, she's sleeping, so I'm gonna put her away and then finish off the rest of the questions and close that it in the up. morning. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I wish I could say, oh, wake up, you know, brush my teeth, get happy. But usually, first thing I do in the morning is check on Lil Miss Thing, um, check if she is still dry uh change her nappy or quickly make a bottle in case she wakes up and she needs something you know so that's the first thing i do first thing i do is sort her life out and then i can brush my teeth or quickly take a shower or work out or make some tea or honestly sometimes just be on twitter that's it for my uh first time tag i have to close it up right now because my daughter is not giving me enough time to finish it up but i think we've covered more than i thought we would have otherwise thank you so much for watching let me know if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'm going to try my hardest to think of um things i can upload uh during this lockdown period honestly guys i think every creative is going through some blockage in terms of ideas and content uh content to put out there so it's not easy guys i'm not even going to lie in as much as there's a lot happening and we have to juggle our lives with our family and also try to find time to you know do youtube stuff or any type of content creation creating it's also very difficult finding ideas it's also very difficult finding things to do because there's very limited resources so please bear in mind um when you guys are asking for videos okay but yeah i'm gonna try my hardest please 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 please, please. i know i've said this in almost every outro but i mean it this time please give me video suggestions i can film at night i can film whenever i find time i just need you know uh, a few fun ideas that i can do um so yeah i'm giving you guys the ball it's now in your court so fire up a comment what video you'd like to see 
and then mna, I'm gonna give it to you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time in my other upload. <laughs>